for anyone wondering, the one moment that I didn't entirely buy was when Martin was knocking stuff down. And I completely understand why. Honestly, I think that in real life he's like, you know, well brought up kid, polite. And when he's told you have to knock stuff down, he's gonna do it carefully. You know, you didn't believe that he was like losing control, that it was just he had to destroy something. You could tell that he was being directed. He was told and he was still kind of careful. But that's all. Again, like I said in the review, right before it, right after it, every other moment of every performance was spot on. I mean, the conviction in the words, no, Dad, I refuse to ask that other kid for his lunch. Fantastic. On the subject of performances, when the little brother breaks in, you know, starts stealing her stuff, I practically died when she said, don't take my wedding rings. I thought it worked really well with the hand. When he first punches, you maybe get like the feeling that's that's not gonna go well. This is, you know, because he doesn't go to a doctor and then it bleeds through the gauze. You know, the wound opens up when he's lifting weights and yet it still had an impact when it got to the end and you just, you know, as he's starting to unwrap the gauze, you just, you know. I mean, my father literally said out loud, gangrene. I suppose one could maybe argue that maybe he would have been checked in real life once they arrested him, but it's really a minor thing and he probably wasn't going to get to keep the hand, you know. It had been so long. I honestly didn't personally feel that it was necessary to see the scene with the baby again and then, you know, complete with the name there at the end, but, you know, it still, it worked. I personally realized, you know, how he got his name the moment Nick said, after this, I'll tell you how you got to be named Martin. On the subject of the kids, I also thought the other kid, Matthias, was amazing. I mean, you could just tell what a toll it has taken on this kid to be, you know, the parents divorced or split up, whatever. You know, I don't feel like telling my name right now. You know, that. And, you know, the realization that she, like, went to the kindergarten and just stole him, you know, that she didn't have permission to. Yes, it was her kid, but, you know, she didn't have permission to. You know, first the line from, you know, the elderly neighbor, you know, about how, you know, oh, the social worker said that he has to spend time with the mother. You know, obviously a lie she told, probably because she felt guilty, and then she, you know, made that up to make sure that, you know, no suspicion and then the police come and, oh, there's been a misunderstanding. Just take him for two minutes, shoving him into Nick's room. And then you overhear her saying, you know, oh, I don't know where he is. Probably at kindergarten. Or also with the elderly neighbor, I like how they, through him, showed that Nick wants his way, you know, no matter what. And then when he gets it, he starts to feel guilty and he has to, like, make amends, you know. He says, no, don't. Just put on your shoes. Just don't make noise. I thought Yvonne was an incredibly convincing and tragic character, you know, the male who just can't meet women and he's so insecure. And the way it also showed how men and women are different, like when we're lonely, you know, the woman tries to, you know, make contact, you know, oh, come on, I, I made coffee, don't you want to sleep over? And the men are, you know, withdrawn and, you know, Nick not wanting to spend too much time there and saying, you know, don't come in here, not today. And Yvonne's, you know, don't talk about my father. I also think the jump in time worked really well. We were given just enough hints to be able to tell that the storylines weren't parallel to one another. It's not confusing and it's easy to tell when something happens in, you know, for one person in relation to what happens to the other person at that same time. I also thought this showed really well what happens when 
someone who hasn't had money, who hasn't had freedom, finally gets it because he hasn't learned to control it. You know, we need to learn boundaries by having opportunities, but also limitations. When you have no opportunities and you're suddenly given some, you can't control it because you're afraid that it's going to go away again because you still remember what it was like to have no opportunities. You're just, you know, it's euphoric. And that's exactly what happens to, you know, the younger brother. Now about the money, I honestly at first thought that Nick was lying and that he was going to pay and that somehow they were going to spend more money that Nick could pay and that that would then, you know, create problems. Now what I didn't understand when I watched it and what my father was kind enough to explain, I'm too young to understand, but apparently some decades ago it was really cheap to buy I don't know what it's called, but from the dictionary, something like allotment houses, allotment garden houses, I don't know. But these were extremely cheap some decades ago, and they've since risen in value. So what happened was, the mother had bought one back when they were really cheap, it had risen in value, and now they had all this money that, you know, the two of them would inherit. I also think this showed really well how the children grew to just accept, you know, what the grown-ups did. You know, Matias saying, I'm hungry, and then, you know, the mother saying, yeah, yeah, well, you know, just play a little more, then you can go eat. You know, she's letting her desires dictate what happens to the child. And Martin's, you know, it's okay, Dad, you know, even though he wants a sandwich. I also thought it was heartbreaking to see how good a father the younger brother was you know when he wasn't high when he wasn't affected you know he and the kid clearly got along well and they were amazing together now, if you watched this far and you haven't already watched the movie then I'll forgive you just go watch the movie otherwise you want to understand what I just said hope you enjoyed it see you next time